Your Google Ads budget plays a big role in the performance of your Google Ads campaign. So let's talk about how the budget works, uh, what you can do to optimize your budget, and to sort of plan out what your budget needs to be in order to run a successful Google Ads campaign. So we've got an example campaign here that we're running for $100 per day, so roughly $3,000 per month. It's performing quite well. We're getting leads at about $22 each. And the conversion rate kind of fluctuates between 17 and 21%, somewhere in there. So we'll just call it 20%, just for rough, rough numbers here. So you can start to do the math once you know what these numbers are, right? So $100 per day, average cost per click is about $3.66. So over 30 days, it's going to spend about, or it's going to get about 719 clicks at a well, say 16% conversion rate, and we're looking at 117 conversions here. And then we also have the uh, value of those conversions listed here as well. Uh, so you can see that it's uh, worth about $26,000. So we're talking a 1,000% return on ad spend, which <laughs> is pretty good. Um, but, you know, if we were only spending a dollar a day, and the average cost per click is $3.66, we wouldn't be able to get really anything going on with this campaign. You know, it would maybe get, what, 10 clicks a month and a conversion rate. So we might get two leads, right? <laughs> but two leads isn't really that helpful for most businesses. So obviously when you're in your campaign settings, you, uh, you come to the campaigns here, you're going to see your campaigns listed out. You'll see your budget listed here. You know, you can edit that budget at any point in time. And oftentimes it'll even give you suggestions as far as what to do. But the key is, where, you know, where do you set this daily budget? What's a good, I mean, a lot of people just guess. They're like, all right, let's do $20 a day and see what happens. You can't do that. Uh, but I find it works better to reverse engineer things a bit. So we could actually figure all this math out through a tool that's, already in Google Ads. So if you go to Tools and Settings, you'll find the Keyword Planner here. If you click that, open it up, it's gonna allow you to see the cost per click for these keywords before you even start advertising. So bathtub reglazing is like one of the main terms in this niche that we're advertising for this client. And it's showing the average top of page bid is between $1.71 and seven dollars so somewhere in the middle there is going to be like three dollars and fifty cents right four dollars somewhere in that range which is what we're finding that our average cost per click is and that's pretty consistent for most of these you can see it's going to be somewhere between two and six dollars so somewhere in the middle is like three dollars and fifty cents so from knowing the average cost per click you can then do the math and figure out okay so let's say um, you know, our we know our landing page converts at 20%. So if we get 100 clicks times 0.2, that's going to be 20 leads. So if you want um, at least one lead a day, it's going to be more like 150 dollars or 150 clicks times 20% conversion rate. That's one lead a day. So now you know you need 150 clicks. We'll say it's three dollars and whoops, 150 clicks times three dollars and fifty cents per click. You need about five hundred and twenty-five dollars per month in order to get one lead a day. So then you divide that by thirty, and now we know that in order to get one lead a day, we need about seventeen dollars and fifty cents. So from there, we can determine okay, how many leads per day can we handle? Now, obviously. Not everybody's going to be everybody's campaigns going to be converting at twenty percent. I mean, we do have some campaigns that convert at forty, even fifty percent. So, um, you know, working with a company that understands how to develop a campaign and a landing page that's going to convert at a high rate is super important, especially since you're spending money on every single visitor that you send to your offer. Uh, but that's a, just a simple way to use the tools that are already in Google, being the Google Keyword Planner, to get a rough sense of 
what your cost per click is going to be, and then work backwards from there to figure out how many clicks per day you need in order to get one lead a day. And maybe you only need one every two days. You know, it's going to be different for every industry. But then once you know that, then you can set up your campaign, come through, set the daily budget, and then you'll start to get all of this data, and then you can further refine your budget from there. Now, a couple of things I would say about the budget in general. Uh, the minimum is $1 per day, so you can't do any less than $1 per day. But the way things are going on Google Ads lately, um, you, you can't really get clicks for like $0.25 cents like you used to back in the day. So $1 per day is typically not going to get you much in the way of results, unless you're doing remarketing, which is a whole other topic. But the other thing I wanted to mention is adjusting your your bit or your daily budget can affect the performance of your campaign specifically if you're using the bid strategies that uh, are optimized for conversions so m the bid strategy of max conversions uh, mac uh, maximize cost per acquisition uh, target row as those types of strategies where google is taking the co uh, the conversion data from your website and using it to Manip manipulate your ads through their algorithms when you're using those types of bid strategies changing your daily budget frequently can actually negatively impact your campaign so if you're using max clicks which is a, just a basic bid strategy you would want to start with with a new campaign and a new ad account if you're just using max clicks as the bid strategy then you can adjust your budget however you want and it shouldn't really affect too much but the rule of thumb is if you're using any of the other bid strategies, you want to wait two weeks after you adjust the budget. Well, after you adjust anything for that matter. But So let's say you're doing $17 per day, you're getting good results, but you want to take it to $25 per day. And then you know two weeks goes by and you realize you want to go even further, then you can just adjust it after two weeks. But if you change the budget and then you come back two days later and you change the budget again, and you come back three days later and you change the budget again, Google's trying to figure out how it can get you the best results based on your daily ad spend budget. So if you keep tweaking that when you're using conversion-based bid strategies, it's going to throw the algorithm off. It's not going to know what to do, and it's going to cause decreased performance in your campaign. So I hope you found all that information helpful. I know that was kind of an overview of things, but if you, there was anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here, and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.